When the Queen comes to Sandringham, she'll try to see the new foals as soon as possible, to assess them and get to know them. Morning, Your Majesty. This year's cold temperatures have produced some particularly furry foals. Now, this is a foal that was born just last night, so the Queen's come down to have a first look. <laughs> the Queen is accompanied by her racing advisor, John Warren, but she's not the sort of breeder who just leaves others to run the business. The pleasure is in these moments, the personal contact, the development of a relationship with another living, albeit hairy, being. Having greeted the newest arrival, the Queen heads for the main stable yard to see the rest of this season's batch of foals. They'll be shown in age order, youngest first, and asked to parade in front of the Queen and our cameras. <laughs> So the Queen's now being shown the foals that were born here at Sandringham this year. And any time one is a bit skittish and they are nervous at this age, this is their first sort of public parade, Annalise will step in. And bear in mind, she foaled most of these, so the foals know her, the mares know her. She just puts a calming hand round them. <laughs> by every detail she's got the breeding on a piece of paper in front of her she wants to see the foals walk she wants to know how they behave this foal was only born on the 29th of March so not even a month old and he's quite immature still you know he's all legs Good stability is only a first step. <laughs> but it's so interesting, you can start to see bits of their personality come out, those that are naturally more confident, those that are a bit more hesitant, like this one is. The Queen has seen enough generations of the same family to be able to make comparisons in terms of shape, size and attitude. But it's only when these babies start to gallop that anyone will know if they're any good. The young Princess Elizabeth was given her first pony, called Peggy, as a fourth birthday present from her grandfather, George V. This is rarely seen private royal footage, the six-year-old princess confidently riding Peggy. 